our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow, free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Is our destination the amusement park? Yes, I think even though we are adults, it's still a good place for us to relax. What are you going to enjoy? I want some exciting. Which is more fun, the roller coaster or the Ferris wheel? I like neither. Come on, here is for enjoying and exciting. Okay, let me think. The roller coaster looks more fun. I like Ferris wheel more. It doesn't matter. We can go to the Ferris wheel later. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, how do I get to Wall Street? Take the A train south to the Liberty Avenue. Stop. You should be able to find it from there. I'm sorry, but how do I know the subway train is going south? The southbound A trains say Brooklyn. Okay. So it's this one? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Let the people off the train before you get on. Oh, sorry. Geez, tourists. I'm going to the bank. What do you need to do? I need to withdraw some money. How are you going to do that? I'll just use the ATM. What's that? It's the automatic teller machine. It gives you money? I just insert my debit card into the machine. And it gives you money? Well, it gives me money, but it's my own money. Oh, what good is that? I thought it gave you free money. How is your appetite today? I'm rather hungry now. What would you like to have? Please give me a piece of pie first. Which would you rather have, beef or chicken? Beef, please. How about drinks, coffee or tea? Coffee, please. Do you want to take milk and sugar? Only black coffee. Would you like to have this kind of suitcase? Yes, I would, as long as it's good quality. You can check it, sir. Okay. I'll have soul, then. All right. How about other guests? The rest of us will have this today's special, please. Okay. I'm sorry, but I ordered soul, not the same as the others. Will you change it? I'm afraid we have no more soul. Then, I'll have this pork cute instead. Certainly. Just a moment, sir. Have you seen the movie Batwoman? No, not yet. Is it good? Yes, it's quite amusing, actually. Good plot, and Sharon Stone's in it. Oh, she's good. She must be getting on a bit now. Yeah, but she looks amazing. So what's the movie about? Well, it's about this woman who got murdered because she discovered some company secrets about the cosmetics company she worked for. But then she got reincarnated as a cat. Huh? I know. Stay with me. She then decided to get her revenge by revealing the company secret and killing the boss. First, though, she had to discover her true cat nature. At the end she had a big fight with Sharon Stone, who was the real danger in the company.
she had actually murdered the boss, who was her husband, and then tried to frame Batwoman for the murder, so everyone thought Batwoman was evil. I see. Batwoman married the boss? No. Sharon Stone was married to the boss, who treated her badly, so she killed him. So where was I? Okay. So then, at the same time she fell in love with a cop, who was investigating the murder of the boss. Finally, she ditched the cop to follow her feline nature. Wait a minute. I'm lost. The cop killed the boss? No, Sharon Stone did. And Sharon Stone as Batwoman? Haven't you been listening to a word I've been saying? Do you like cooking? I love it. I really enjoy creating a meal from various ingredients and watching my friends enjoy it. It gives me a real sense of satisfaction. Do you enjoy cooking? I don't like it. It takes up too much time and I really hate having it clean up after the meal. I can't stand doing the washing up, drying up and putting all the dishes and cutlery away. You can ask the guests for help. My guests usually insist on doing the washing up. I just have to remind them where everything goes. So what kinds of dishes do you usually make? I know you like Italian food. Italian, Indian and Chinese. I've only recently started cooking Chinese meals and I need some more practice. Do you find it hard to get ingredients for Chinese food? Not at all. You can find most of them in supermarkets. The ingredients are usually the same as in Western food. The way that the food is prepared is the big difference not the ingredients. How long does it take you to cook a meal for five or six people? Obviously, it depends on what I'm cooking. But I'd say it generally takes about one and a half hours. Let's see if we forget anything. Oh, we need an umbrella. The weather is so changeable in that area. Yes, let's go. Lock the door, please. All right. Mommy, can I stay up until 11 o'clock? No, go to bed right now. Okay, come back into the classroom, class. Does the class start again, ma'am? Yes, but to the Heath, this break has last long enough. Oh, break time flies. Come on, baby. It's time now. Ma'am, another minute, could I? Hurry up, little boy. I'm a new student. My name's Robert. Nice to meet you. My name's Sophie. Are you French? Yes, I'm. Are you French, too? No, I'm not. What nationality are you? I'm Italian. Are you a teacher? No, I'm not. What's your job? I'm a keyboard operator. What's your job? I'm an engineer. Is everything ready for the big family barbecue tomorrow? Yep. The steaks and chicken are marinated and I also bought hamburger buns. We should also cook a couple dozen hot dogs and kebabs. Yeah, good idea. We can put some lawn furniture outside next to the grill. I also set up the tent outside so we can hide from the sun if it gets too hot. Great. I asked Grace to bring cups and serviettes as she is also bringing two big coolers for the beers. This is gonna be a great barbecue.
Why didn't you call me last night? Because I went out. Why didn't you phone me from a call boy? I didn't have any change. Tell me why you didn't come to see me tonight then. I don't like all your questions. That's why. What? Your golden watch is lost? Yeah, I just can't find it anywhere. It's an open book that it was stolen by the man in black. Let's get it back. Is there a problem, officer? Did you notice that stop sign you ran through? I'm sorry, I didn't even notice it. You didn't see it? I honestly couldn't see it because of the bushes growing over it. That's true. Those bushes are a problem. I swear that I didn't mean to run it. I can understand why you didn't stop for it. Are you going to give me a ticket today, sir? Under the circumstances, I think I'm just going to let you go with a warning. Thanks a lot. No problem. Next time, just pay closer attention. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.